That's right, Nick. The nonprofit is donating $6.4 million to a state. The funds will be split up into three endowments that will go towards scholarships and furthering arts education at the University Museum and the Department of Art and Design. We uh, have $2 million that will go to support our endowment, which will provide operational support for us for not only our exhibitions, like the work that you see in here, but also for our educational program. The grant also includes $30,000 in matching support for their mobile museum that will travel to area schools for educational programming. Of the $6.4 million, $1 million of it will go towards the upkeep of the new Windigate Center for Three-Dimensional Arts that will open this summer. So it's a huge help for us as a department and as a university, and it will help maintain the building in a state-of-the-art condition for students to work in and learn in for the foreseeable future. The gift will also create a $3 million endowment for needs-based scholarships for university students. The $6.4 million grant is among the largest gifts ever donated to a state for the arts and one of several recent grants the university has received. Holstein says the impact goes beyond the university and its students. It'll make a big difference in the lives of, uh, our, of um, visual artists who are, you know, struggling to find their way because they, the industry that they worked in isn't available to them all of a sudden because of the, the events of the last year. To hear more from today's interviews and to learn additional information about how this will impact university students, you can visit this story on our website, kjnbtv.com. Sarah Doe, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro. Back to you, Nick.